tribe watches the other, waiting for an opportunity to turn the situation to their advantage or for revenge. Today, there is geopolitical balance between all the tribes. Each has a stake in the concert of nations. The Bojas are the most advanced people in Umoja, and they have a highly organized army. However, they have also exhausted all their Aryanite reserves during the last centuries. The Isals have improved their ability to dig up the rocks. We have become the best Aryanite miners. This obviously makes us a key ally for the Bojas. The Wasals are a mixed tribe between the Wanga and the Isao. Oh, that's interesting. They're a mix. They live in an archipelago. They have established commercial routes which supply all the other continents. It is a neutral economic zone. The Wanga are scattered all across the colds and harsh lands in the north. They experience a long period of instability and served as mercenaries for others. They bear the greatest grudge toward the Bojas. Some of the Wangas are tired, were tired of conflict. They retired to the arid lands of the east. They became the Bawangas, the tribes of the Griots, who dedicate their lives to understanding the true nature of Aryan. We are coming to the final point of this explanation. Zama is located on the continent of Odanis. Until now, we didn't even know that there was a city there. What is your place in the history? Based on your physical appearance, you seem to be Bojas. But your behavior reveals that you are not from the Central Tribe. Ah, oh, so many dispellings here. What is the place of Zama? I have never thought about it. Until now, I knew nothing about the outside world. Did Ju Nama sent me here so that I asked myself this question? Uh, we don't really know what to answer. <laughs> that confirms what I was saying. They are useless to us. Next audience, please. They have already made us lose enough time. We, hmm. we may have information on what is really going on in Bodiop. Bodiop? What do you know? We have proof that some of your council are enriching themselves illegally in Bodiop Forest. Lies! How dare you insult our hospitality, King of Zama! Hmm. These accusations are serious, King of Zama. You better be sure what you're saying. We will give you all the proof if you accept to help. If you are willing to help us. Hmm. I don't... Why are you asking about Facebook? Domendang, what did I tell you? Don't ask about Facebook things on the, on Twitch, especially because it's, it's privacy, man. So I'm not going to answer that question. That has nothing to do with the game, so I'm not answering it. Anyway, let, let me go on. Like, don't keep doing that, by the way, because, like, I don't want to... Yeah, I'm sorry to be mean, but this is Twitch. Yeah, you're not allowed to do Facebook. So, Illusion, if you do, if you do that again, we're gonna... You you can't, like, you have to... We can't let you keep sending... Putting up messages like that on Facebook. On Twitch, sorry. No Facebook stuff. Especially private things. Yeah, sorry, guys. I have to be kind of harsh on this, because Dome and Die, you keep breaking the rules. I keep telling you, don't do that. Anyway, it's your first time, so... Hmm. hmm. I cannot decide without having seen your proof. On the other hand, if what you have said is true, I will use all my power to support you. Do we agree? Yeah, sorry, Dome and Die. I can't have to be mean, but I, I can't... But yeah, I, I gotta look out for other people too. And Hustle Dragonfly, welcome to the stream. Or I guess you maybe you've been here and you didn't say anything. Hmm. Yes, we will tell you everything and show you the astral memory of our Kalol. 
In this case, when the elders retire, I am going to talk with the king of Zama. All those, <coughs> sorry, don't know the Zama. All those who leave the city will be considered guilty. But Excellency, this is a council assembly. We have several subjects to discuss for the well-being of the city. These accusations regarding Bodiup are a rumor. You are surely not going to doubt the council based on these strangers' allegations. <sighs> Darling, you should not alienate the council in these troubled times. We have already broken enough of our protocols for those these people. It was not a request but an order. You should not... Nyamie, you leave as well. I will stay in conc this conclave with my bodyguard Malik. Malik and the king and queen of Zama until further notice. He's basically like, get out. <laughs> Ukungu Damu. I listened to you. What you have said explains many things. I have a final question. Why do you want why do you want to recover your throne? Is it the thirst for power, money or even honor? What is your motive? Hmm. I could say that I want to recover my birthright, but the truth is I do not like reigning. The morning of my coronation, I consider myself unworthy of my duties. Then, I walked in the city, and I saw my people happy, and everyone who believed in me. If I want to return to Zama, it is above all for them. The Zamians are my people and our family. You seem to have the ideal kingdom. A people who love you. A queen who supports you. How are your elders? They, are, they practically educated me. They are the old guardians of the ancestral knowledge of Zama. They are very strict when they make me study the royal rites. But I have always known that they only wanted the best for me. If everything was so perfect, why did your brother-in-law, Narba Evo, attack you? Many monarchs are convinced that they are loved. They see their people through a distorted veil from their ivory tower. One day, their people rebel without them having seen it coming. We don't understand my brother's act. He left a long time ago on the orders of our previous king to complete his legacy and to return to Zama to help us reign. But the longer we are outside our city, the more we realize how complicated things are outside of Zama. Perhaps we will understand him better at the end of our journey. I envy you. We are almost the same age, but you have a more positive vision of a king's role. Now, now that you mention it, may I ask a question? When it, we arrived in this city, most of the people complained of your unfair taxes. Why do you take so much from, from them? Unlike you, I haven't inherited an on of an ideal world. I haven't inherited an ideal world. My gosh, this game and its ink spellings. I must manage pre many pressures at all levels. Two years ago, their central tribe of the Bojas quadru quadrupled their orders of Aryanite. This was very good for business in Isao. We therefore intensified our work in the mines. I asked my people Oh, hold on a second. It's very complicated, I'm guessing. I asked my people... Oh, it looks like we're over time. I'll finish up here and then we can save and then stop for the day. I asked my people to pay more tax because it allowed us to invest and sustain production. They supported me enthusiastically, but all did not go as planned. We needed to develop our mind. Oh, you yeah, know, this music is very nice. 
we needed to develop our minds. All the sons of the rock dug hard for the prosperity of the nation. But suddenly, the intertribal peace of Arianite dropped. Intertribal? What's that mean? Oh, I see. The Bojas decided to buy the Arianite at a lower price. I reacted by deciding to stop our commercial exchanges. Or like basically like yeah, this the intertribal price of Arianite. Sorry, I miss I must read the earlier one. They said roll this piece. I reacted by deciding to stop our commercial exchanges. I thought they would be short of Arianite and would return to negotiations. My people supported me at first. But when the crisis lasted longer, they were overcome by personal interests. Each day there were riots, with the workers calling for the reopening of the mines. Because there's nobody to pay them, there's no work to be done. The elders asked me to give up, since the Bojas appeared not to be in short supply of Aryanites. I was forced to surrender, to the detriment of our long-term interests. Now, we currently suffer from a trade imbalance with the Central Tribe. We work three times harder to maintain our lifestyle. Basically, they don't have... Because they ha the price of Arianite is so low, it's like you, you work really hard and you have to get lots of things, but you only sell it for really low prices and so you don't get as much. So then, the economy just suffers. I have increased taxes so that we can open more mines. I open our borders to have more workers so that the city does not sink. <sighs> Despite all my efforts, it was not enough. I was missing something. How were the Bojas able to su survive our strike? No other tribe was capable of supplying the Aryanite they needed. Oh, wait a minute. It's probably the illegal trade. I began to suspect the existence of an illegal Aryanite traffic. Uh, traffic of illegal Aryanite trafficking in Isal. I have to keep correcting the English, but it's fine. Anyway, we know who was one of those people Nimrud himself. This black market must be run by the elders in this council. I did not have enough proof before you arrived. You have given me the missing piece of the puzzle. Bodia and the Koros. So that's how they were getting the Aranite. They were getting it illegally through the black market, which was being run by the Koros gang. Of course, the elders kind of hit that away because they wanted to have the money for themselves at the price of... They're like, screw the people. The elders will have all the money, right? These elders make slaves work in illegal mines, and they sell the Aranite directly to the Bojas. <laughs> How can they betray their tribe so profoundly? I have stopped trying to understand the dark heart of men. I have lost everything in this political battle. My people see me as a tyrant and a liar who extorts their money. Of course, the corrupted elders encourage this propaganda. My council is divided. The friends of my e yesterday are my enemies today. Some have joined the cause of the corrupted elders. Without a doubt, they want to sh ensure their survival after my downfall. What solitude. How can such a young man bear it? If Zama was so corrupted, what type of person would I have been? Your queen does not support you. Niamie. I have lost her love, too. She married a king, not a martyr. She believes that I have put us in danger for an ungrateful population. We have hurt, truly hurt each other during these last months. We speak only during the councils. Each, each of us thinks that it is the other's fault. This is prob probably true. When a marriage fails, Responsibilities are shared. I hope that one day she will forgive me for my shortcomings. Huh. 
At least I have the opportunity to help have all these elders arrested for corruption and change things. I would like you to help us catch them. Help you? But you seem to have enough soldiers. Yes, but to organize a large military action takes time and could create panic in the population which could be caught between two fires. I guess you don't want an army marching through your city trying to catch them. Furthermore, I think they are already preparing their defense or attempting to flee the city. We must therefore act quickly. You will go with my personal guard, Malik Bilaure. Bilaure. He has my full trust. What do you think? I don't like fighting, but we help them here. Maybe we can return to Zama more quickly. So let's do it. We are with you, King Eloric. Well said, King of Zama. This is the start of our friendship and of the friendship between our two tribes. I would like you to ask you to keep this between us as we have not fit yet finished. I advise you to prepare well and to return when you are ready for combat. Prepare yourself for combat by buying items at the market of Isao and return to speak to the king. Ah. Oh. Poor Kingy. In addition to being the king's bodyguard, I am also his confidant. You really have fallen in good ha- You are- You are in good hands. Alright. So guys, we will have to save this for another time. I'm sure you guys are one- whether or not we'll be able to end this cycle of madness here in Isao and help the king, King Eloric, return to Zama. But until then, we will have to save this for another time. Maybe on Friday or or Monday. It depends on a bunch of things. I could possibly stream on Friday, but we'll see how it goes. Anyway, I hope you guys really did enjoy this. Illusion, Dragonfly, and Domindang. You guys have... If you did miss, this is actually a really important stream, so hopefully you guys will will also be able to catch up on Twitch archives or YouTube. I will also start uploading stuff from YouTube, uh, from Twitch to YouTube, so I hope you guys will look forward to that. This game is certainly un interesting, and the story of this game is certainly not be as uh, stereotypical as I thought it was going to be. I'm very happy that we're finding out more and more about just the true, just how far that rabbit hole goes. Anyway, have a good night, guys. Take care. So, as always, one an, which means good night, and xia zi zai jian, which means see you next time, and xie xie shou kan, which means thank you for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy this. I will see you all next time. Take care and good night. I don't have anything funny to say. That was pretty heavy, so see you guys.